What are you? For sure, it's live. Okay, it's live. Host, the presenter, and so Article 13 is of a lot of importance to me, and I've realized that over the last the few most weeks, I've heard about in Uganda. approaching sort of votes on it and exactly what it entails. And so that's why I'm here to chair things with yourself and talk to these wonderful people to my right. Oh, they're in... Julia, okay. what about yourself? Do you want to do a brief introduction to... They're in Germany um, right now. ...everybody at home? Yeah, uh, sorry, I'm... Oh, my breath. God. I kind of, uh, fine. dashed out for a cable. Very analog here. Um, yeah, I so saw I'm it. I'm a member of the European Parliament for the Pirate Party. Uh, I've uh, been elected for Germany, and uh, so the Pirate Party is kind of focused on all kinds of digital issues. So we've been fighting against upload filters <laughs> from the start, and uh, really glad to be here. And we're going to hear more about those upload filters in a bit, but now, who are you, Timo? Wh what are you doing here? Yes, I'm Timo. I'm also an MEP. Uh, I arrived two and a half years ago, so I'm quite new here. As to Julia, I'm one Tempo of the youngest MEPs in. here. Super uh, I think the youngest. Wh which means for the record? <laughs> this means for me, it's 33. So uh, it's uh, and I think the youngest member is 29. So uh, yeah. there's there's so I, a I could lot be the to youngest do. member. <laughs> yes, you could. So could I. Yeah, okay. So so elections are in young. May 26. What so it's time to run, and you can start your campaign right now. Um, yeah, and I'm also working on the copyright file, and of course, I'm really concerned about uh, introducing upload filters. And I'm happy to be here, but um, yeah, let's see how good it will is in the end. <laughs> yes, we're definitely going to have some gaming going on. My name is Ponyhoff. I've been doing this Twitch thing for five years now. So for me, this is an important topic too. I've not been paying all too much attention. I've been a bit sleeping on it, I gotta say. I've been informing myself even more in the past months, and I'm a, you know, now I'm scared. <laughs> and now we're going to hear some hard facts pretty much over the day. While well, we're going to be playing some Mario Kart and see if actually people from the <laughs> EU Parliament that you voted for pretty much <laughs> are also able to uh, play with a controller and game and not only talk about our future in the internet. Well, <laughs> I think maybe maybe talking about the future of the internet is easier. But <laughs> yeah. well, at least we'll, we'll be good at one of the two, so it's a start. <laughs> yeah, I mean, should we get everybody at home up to speed on exactly what Article 13? Because like I've never been so happy. I've been hearing a UK accent my before. Like I said in my introduction, this has crept up on me slightly. I heard about Article 13 quite some time ago, and you hear about the implications of it, which I'd love you guys to elaborate on, and you're like, yeah, there's no way this could happen. And then you hear about the effects it could have on people like myself or people doing productions like this. Um, and it sounds, um, from my point of view, pretty terrible. So what exactly is Article 13? What repercussions could it have if we begin to discuss this? Yeah, so uh, essentially Article 13 is changing a very basic principle of how copyright law functions on the internet. I mean, you as a creator probably know Welcome if you upload Batman. something, you're responsible for making sure that it's legal. Yes. Uh, Article 13 would say actually the platform has to make sure that whatever people publish there is legal. So that would mean Twitch or YouTube or whatever platform people upload to would have to make sure that copyright infringement doesn't happen. Mm. And that is, of course, pretty much an impossible task to do because how are you going to know what somebody is going to upload? So you're just going to the text print which is it all. on the table and which was adopted, unfortunately, today in the uh, Yuri committee is written in a very bad way. So Article 13 is really complicated. And uh, yeah, I think the legislator messed up a little bit with uh, these, uh, this, this Article 13, yeah. Yeah, it's like to four pages in. long, Super the article yes. itself, and there was actually a jo German lawyer who did a, a video about it, trying to explain it. The video is 50 minutes long, and people <laughs> actually watched that. I mean, I thought that was quite impressive. Yeah, indeed. indeed. So yeah. this is pretty much what we have. We have Article 13, who's, which is going to have something to do with the copyright law, with how the way we create content, how content is uploaded in the what internet, and how the platforms are being held liable for the content that Paul and I, for example, Step create, or in. whoever Super your so yes. favorite creator on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's Gone not only creators, though. It, it affects YouTube that viewers. Has to do with it could. 13. Every single platform has to take care that no one does or would do anything against the law and then stop them from doing it. Yeah. Every platform which which main purpose or one of its main purposes is to give access you could get to a large amount from of watching. copyright protected work. 
and um, there are some exceptions for certain platforms. Yeah, yeah, like Americans. Wikipedia, for example, or Dropbox. I know you're not the EU, are, Lil W, but um, a lot of people are right now in chat. Europeans or non-Americans. And we don't know what happens Europeans. in the future. So there are exceptions for existing platforms, but we don't know which platforms will occur in the future. So uh, this is also a big weakness of uh, the way Article 13 is written. Yeah, so basically, like, what happened was they came up with this super general law that says, like, oh, all these platforms are basically exploiting offers, and therefore we have to make them liable. And then, like, the people from Wikipedia were like, well, this would completely destroy Wikipedia. And so the solution was, okay, we'll write except Wikipedia. And then, like, <laughs> yeah. eBay came and said, actually, people upload pictures to eBay. And they were like, well, we don't want to destroy eBay. And then they write another exception. <laughs> like, this is a terrible way to do laws. Yeah, that's actually so, horrible. So what the fuck? With making exceptions, where do we stop making exceptions? And who's pretty much big enough to be able to get an exception? And that's not and the sense enough. of a law for everyone, end of the day that no one wants as we have seen in Germany so far. Uh, so that I'm an exception. We're going to have later questions from the chat too. We're going to have more about how Article 13 pretty much impacts pretty much. Paula has a really interesting story about that <laughs> no? later okay. for okay. some copyright <laughs> swag yeah. on, on YouTube. The but biggest EU streamers. We that, we're going to pretty much test now who, who's going to be able to play some Mario Kart, who's yeah. able to right. use this uh, Nintendo Switch controller, which I would not be able to show in the camera if we're talking about Article 13. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. To put things into context, Context, yeah. right whilst we pick our characters which by the way if you do need mm -hmm. help doing that guys will guide you along um, like for instance what we're doing now would we even be able to do this with the potential repercussions what? of um, article 13 I'm not sure if I already choose or not um, I, I don't know if I'm playing <laughs> one this no, no, no. Hard. <laughs> well I think Pot Potty Hoff are you player one I'm a player one oh Did my we god choose? I don't want to watch this fucking Mario Kart no we're, we're good we're four <laughs> players <laughs> Or play the low Man, that's or, good. Or, okay, yeah, yeah, let's let's take it easy. Yeah, but basically to answer your question, yes, these Nintendo characters uh, are uh, protected. Yeah, I mean, there are different types of protections, like uh, you know, copyright law, design law, different things. So this is for copyright law, but that could include pictures, videos, gameplay, and it could but also include basically characters from novels or even. From if movies. Nintendo is fine with so anyone streaming their game, that wouldn't be like affecting right affected by Article uh, 13, play, right? If, if he yeah. was trying to be Donkey Kong in the EU Parliament, that that's not cool. Why didn't you today? So um, <laughs> you know, the problem is that <laughs> Twitch can't make sure that we only play Mario Kart on stream and nothing else. Run Article 13. Well, just get a house and that's the problem. We are not on the EU. Yeah, I know Switzerland is like faster, but it's yeah. second <laughs> Norway. <laughs> so yes. It's okay, also. So I should have, I should have checked Switzerland on that yeah, site as well. Yeah, I'm actually yeah, interested yeah. to know okay, the prices in Switzerland. Okay, I take the but I want to move. I, I want to. I'll, I'll tell you that 90% of the people that play Mario Kart are probably going to say, "Wow, I get a flower on the back of my car. That's insane." Exactly. I mean, that's kind of how. I want to live somewhere to somewhere warmer. If you like. Got an exclamation mark next to it. That's got to be good. <laughs> Have you guys played many video games? I want to sit in my balcony and, and you know, chill a bit like for streaming. And technology and gaming, so to speak. A little. Um, but uh, Not that that makes it, of course, your expertise is elsewhere. I'm just curious out of interest, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, in my younger ages, Boom. I played uh, Anno 1602. So oh, okay. it's one of the. Mm. You don't know, okay? Uh, You're not from Sweden. For example, you don't fucking know, okay? Oh, that's the German uh, game. Don't little W me. Yeah, yeah, indeed, <laughs> yeah, I've mostly <laughs> played Baldur's Game. Fucking not see oh, the sun for 15 months. I've played the calmer things where you can hit pause all the time. See, so. no. So yeah. we'll, we'll see now oh with the button. Hala, can you walk us through the Relax, monk at the US, brother. <laughs> so controls I think is forward the right is good, right? Is A. Okay. Yes. Um, a is A. What the yeah. fuck? Is this <laughs> Mario Kart for the Switch? A a is a. Good. Good. Right. The Why does it look so fucking on. shit? Also, the skid button is top right. It, it, it's the right trigger. Yeah. What I call it. And the left trigger is for items. So in the top, yeah. top left. Oh my the god. The one is for items. Are you first place? Are you kidding me? This looks worse than the Wii Aren't one. First place. Uh, but I, I said beforehand, I'm, I'm very inconsistent with Mario Kart. It's definitely not a game I'd say. I know this map, that. and I don't yeah, remember so it looking this fucking you pixelated. Here, or flew here, and the whole time you play Mario Kart, <laughs> and you switch. No, I, I definitely did. Uh, <laughs> but yes. well, there have sure. been times where I've traveled playing this game. It's port. Right. 
So these bananas, I'm just dropping off behind me, right? 720. Yeah, exactly. The banana caused an accident. Low bitrate. Actually yeah. worse than my stream. Okay. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Why was I struck by lightning? Because we were too good. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I feel, I feel, I'm third. That's not good. Who's second? Who's right? I feel like... So I get to throw this green thing out if the right party members... Of the well, uh, so, okay, good. <laughs> there's there's no danger in this. Of the pirate party and stuff oh, would be know, pro I'm, players I'm instead I'm or sure good gamers. Right More people now. would vote oh, for I, them. I, oh, God, I can't even see you yet, so I think you're you've got a pretty good. <laughs> I'm, I'm just start. chasing Julia here and trying to throw my boomerang at her, and I've no. missed three times already. <laughs> You know, well, I could told try me when throwing I first this thing, but I this is like when I play with when I play with my mom. I wouldn't want to vote for that shit. No. <laughs> parliament, but then again, I was five years old. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been like, "Oh, that sounds cool." Um, so it's okay, you got me. Where are, where are we currently now in European Pond? We're in like the the canteen area. Uh, this is like basically the Great Hall. You okay. know, we have this TV set that's basically in the middle of everything. Yeah. And this this Parliament building is totally crazy. We do it have is, like a fifth is. and a half floor, like in yeah. Hogwarts or something. <laughs> I, I saw you have like your your own stores oh. and everything. It's like a town in a town. Pretty yeah. Yeah. So we never have to leave. Lichtenstein is our neighbor and cheaper. Yeah. In case you need good like, temperatures, just to go to Yugoslav. When we had the copyright so negotiation, it was like 8.30 in the evening that we finished. Maybe I pick up some more uh, skiing instead. If I move there. It's a surprise. I get, I get secret gamer over here. Yeah, see, right. I just got lost talking about copyright and then I stopped <laughs> so paying start, attention. So I started <laughs> streaming, yeah. yeah. Not bad. So right. I'm last place, I, it's because I picked the l slowest character. <laughs> yes, sure. of course. This, yes. That's the reason why. It's or like, maybe you obviously. were trying to make us feel better. Yes, yes, yes. It's Thank you okay, very much it's for okay. that. <laughs> Something that I was curious about, I asked um, Julia about when we met her for the first time earlier today. TMO, you weren't there, and but you can, of course, and talk about it now is that how did article 13 come about and like why why did this push for it start like whose idea was it i think it's it's uh, unfortunately a german commissioner uh, called Oettinger, uh, who introduced Unfortunately. So, um, and what do they get looking at people like him? Well, what's the benefit for people that want all Why is it always you Germans starting shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> just so that we understand all why? of them. Who are the people that are benefit, bet, benefiting from it and why? Yeah. And why can't you just be passive like Sweden? Be, people won't care if they can't post on YouTube as long as they all get jobs in the music Welcome industry. <laughs> like, I think they just still live in the 1990s where Thank basically you. like I mean, there is a lot of music industry pressure behind this, and I think they just think that this is what people think is cool, and like, you know, they they're just not in touch with with what people do on the internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So well, they never used the platform. So um, they, I think, Mr. Attinger for himself wasn't aware that his speech he gave, one of the first speeches he gave as the commissioner, would appear on YouTube and would be watched thousands of times because of his English pronunciation, for example. Uh, and so um, I think they, they really do not know what uh, happens to these platforms. Wait, what? How many, especially young so they start, this whole thing started because a German had a funny English accent when he proposed this, and that's why people watched it? or wait for the, um, for the news uh, show in the evening. So um, yeah, I think they really do not know it. So it's pretty much that God Article fucking 13 damn it. is something that could be good for the music industry, but in consideration of the longer wave it throws, it's actually maybe good for one party, but like 10 other parties are sitting in the rain and just crying because Article 13 is not so awful. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of this kind of started because you know, Google was developing content ID and the music industry yeah. was like, well, but we, we want uh, Google to pay us more than just like the advertising revenue. And uh, to a lot of politicians, basically YouTube is just like, you know, a music streaming service, but to the people who actually use it, uh, these platforms are much more diverse. And like a lot of people uh, just upload stuff that they have created themselves and not with the intention that they want to make money of it or if they do maybe by you know getting gigs uh, being invited to events and stuff like that and 
to them it's just like you know they know the television world I think we have one really good example from Pala for the whole upload filter thing. I wonder though, when it comes to music, to introduce an upload filter, who's then will they really make more money if YouTube didn't give them advertisement stuff. money? If they just, if YouTube didn't really, exist, I mean, sorry, people sorry, would just download it then, right? I don't think it would make more money. YouTube making content. And um, I, ha I have been through the copyright system. I had a copyright strike once. It was for showing um, the box for a video game mm -hmm. the day before it had come out. Yeah. Um, is that the type of thing that you could see being worked into a content ID system from Article 13? The most deadliest um, gun what, in Uganda. Like, what, are, what are the sort of things that can happen if an article like this were passed mm. in that sense in terms of what's being uploaded and how right. is it being filtered. I'm gonna go take yeah, a shower I mean, with 10 soldiers and get butt fucked gashagasm. Seems good. Like good luck. <laughs> they're trying to look for things they recognize. But copyright law is complicated. Like, you probably had permission to show that yeah, thing. And like, if you're reviewing a game, you know, it's a, it's a quotation. Yeah. It's actually legal to show some copyrighted content if you are talking about it and criticizing Time to bring in it. But super the filter just sees, oh, there is like an image that's copyrighted. This needs to be blocked. Yeah. So that's the kind of thing that would happen a lot more. Yeah, at the time, I think I got the game early. Um, and I just wanted to show it, but because I knew I wouldn't be able Time to get to away with showing in. the gameplay. So, yes. um, so I thought, oh, maybe I could show the box. I don't know if I was wrong or right. I just, I know from personal experience that these sorts of systems are very complex. And I feel like Article 13, um, again, from my own perspective, it's, it's kind of... Well, so when's this vote happening on it? Um, and why, why are we talking about it now? It's in a few weeks, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, so we don't know the exact date, but yeah. it will probably be either in the last week of March or sometime in April. How do you not know and the exact actually, week? Like, um, a few weeks Germany, away. There has been a lot of attention to this, and people have started planning protests uh, that are going to take a place on the 23rd yeah. of March. There have already been some you just had a in, in the background. Yeah. Yeah. So we are pretty confident the vote will be sometime after that major protest yeah, on hopefully. the 23rd of hopefully, March. Yeah. But we don't know the exact date. But basically it's going to be a really close vote. The parliament rejected this idea in the past. Then there were some changes introduced and it was uh, approved. And now we're just like a few weeks ahead of the final vote. And it really matters how every single member of parliament is going yeah. to, wo to vote and uh, so we're trying to get the word out and hopefully also in. get Super these so yes. uh, to spread to other countries. Yeah. Yeah. Which but means it's not too late. So, so we no, pretty much it's not too late, some time. Uh, but it's almost too late. So uh, we will have this yeah. vote in the end of March or in the beginning of April. And um, we will have one single vote whether we want to adopt changes from the members of the European Parliament to the text uh, confirmed today in the EURI committee. So if we lose this vote, there will only be another vote if we want to accept the text or not. And uh, only if we win the very first vote, we will be able to present some changes, for example, to um, delete, uh, article, delete 13. article 13 and 11. <laughs> I mean, there are other things there in the directive that are not so bad. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. What's article this 11? Is the, um, this, is, this is the count which, which is very important. And for that, we need to convince as many members as possible. So we need a simple majority. Link uh, text. But it's, uh. it's hard to manage. Yeah, but so some members have already promised they will vote against. There's this website, pledge2019.eu, yeah. and there basically any member of parliament can say, I promise I will not adopt this directive with this Article 13 yeah. in it. But uh, this has only been launched on Monday, so no it's links, really a chat. new thing, and now it's time to kind of only call Zelda. people. Uh, call the MEPs and get them to sign this this promise. And what so should be mentioned, sorry, is that there no is problem. no big t uh, tech company behind it, so they write it clearly on their page. <laughs> because whenever there's protest on Article 13 and on upload filters, some colleagues tend to uh, say these people are only against it because big U.S. American companies said you have to be against it. So yeah, and that's this complete is complete yes, nonsense. I mean, it is, it I is. think they yeah. they they cannot imagine that people actually care about the <laughs> internet and the online platforms they use. Like, like the people that are pretty much here tonight, right now, watching us talk about yeah. the whole topic. But tell us, apart from the protest, 
What, what could the viewers do like from, from home? Like some, some are underage maybe, or some are like mm. not legal age. They might not be able to just travel through Germany to come to a protest. But what, what can they do from their home? How can they support the whole, we don't want Article 13, we don't want to lose Pala or Pony or any kind of content oh. that is being sure. blocked by- Oh, oh potentially. Okay. Well, yeah, sure. let's, let's uh, do that. But I, I can try to, to play and talk, but- um. <laughs> Good luck. I, I heard yeah. there's, there's a paper in the internet. Right. That's pretty popular. I mean, um, there, there is a petition that was started on change.org. It's, uh, I think, called Stop the Censorship Machine or something. But if you Google upload filters and change.org petition, you're going to find it. And it has almost 5 million signatures. I it think was, we're it's like 4.9 at the moment. Yeah, think, exactly. Right? So it's like the <laughs> biggest <laughs> petition on an EU topic. Fellow Norwegians, uh, we are in the European <laughs> economic <laughs> area. <laughs> I'm we sorry. are better at following <laughs> EU rules than actual so EU countries. We have been right, right but we <laughs> never <laughs> use it. If this passes, we are screwed people. too. Okay. Only <laughs> Trump can save us. This is these uh, artificial. Yes. That's right. Yeah, no, so, no, no, no. so if you. Like, yes, if Norway you is really, really an option. Unsure, you don't know uh, how EU policy works. Like, the least you can do is sign the petition. Those six don't the five and says Norway is part of the well, EEA and not EU. No. If Article 13 passes, it will most likely be implemented in Norway unless our government vetoes it. They never do. Or government yeah. hates freedom. Deal with all no. yeah. and yeah. cheaters and games. M. Schumpani Hoff approves. And I would wish more countries would follow this example because yeah, it's really the UK, right? Well, yeah, would be good. What does right now, the enemy of my enemy is uh, <laughs> is my co-worker. Serifix transferred Cali Bruce, Scarman, Drew, Jorgensen Lol and Ole Minorica with the one year. What a year to be alive. Thank you very much. So if you if your uncle knows the MEP guy from your country and you go to your uncle and you tell him you should have a chat with him. Tof Slant streamed on his stream says this is my point. They are streaming from inside the European Parliament and they have a member of Pirate Party. They're speaking for us and playing Mario Kart. The voting members are seeing this and you have this joke of a to persuade too them. To do that. I, mean, uh, I mean, I don't think anyone will vote or not interest. vote based on them, on I this. Anyone who uh, votes vote and will be vote read up on it and knows the consequences like, themselves. Yeah. They they don't have to listen to these guys to know. This is more like a reminder, probably, because it's coming up. I've seen a lot of different things happen politically in my country. You want to see it that way? It can be hard to understand it all. Um, even if you try to be in I just w wish that they would tell me what it would mean for Twitch specifically, Twitch streamers specifically, you know? I hope they talk. In politics or any sort of change in, in society or, or, or culture, and you can not really be concerned about it or... Um, Nobody knows. Kind of yeah, but Twitch has to have MP. something planned yeah, already, like you know? Okay, this shit passes. Let's this, assume like it passes. What do we do at Twitch headquarters? What do we do with the European streamers, the European audience? You know? It's not like they're just trying to think something after it passes. They will already have prepared. It's not going to be panic basket lasagna in oven kind of thing. There was about a 70 vote difference out of 750 members. So it's close. It's pretty close. And actually, the last version of Article 13 was a little bit less extreme because it at least excluded the small platforms. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think we can win this vote, but it's really going to require people taking action, like organizing protests. <sighs> Do I have to vote for the first time in my life? Not even vote. Say that, but Sign a fucking petition. Count, you know? Is that how I start my political career? We're trying to kind of like I think so. Here and ways you can get involved, and that if you I think so. It, maybe like time to bring in myself, super soldiers. It is something that seems quite crucial and critical to all of the people involved, whether you're just watching or that you're uh, on our side in terms of producing things. Yeah, and you know, I don't want people to feel powerless about what happens in the EU. Like, yeah. actually, the European Parliament is there to represent you. Yeah. And uh, I, I hope that, uh, basically, if all of you contact your members of Parliament, they will just listen to you. And in the past, they've sometimes done that. Like, yeah. There was a big copyright protest uh, on a similar issue in 2012, and the European Parliament actually voted the thing down. Okay.
As we can see, history tells it is Dark Mem's third Tory talk with one year. <laughs> Mr. Destructive, clap. Hey, fellow so Pawn Up subs. Thank you for the one year. Face mask. Ulf and uh, <laughs> Corrickson <laughs> and Conceited <laughs> Catherine. Thank you. Gaben Don is doing it. says, Imagine <laughs> listening to people who ex exaggerate <laughs> stuff <laughs> just for the sake of it. Read it yourself. It has no mandatory upload filter. Okay. It has no mandatory upload filters. That doesn't mean that uh, the companies are not liable. Under the for when they should for the things being uploaded, which being means that they will just uh, like instead of doing uh, a mandatory I upload filter because a mandatory upload right filter there. doesn't really um, work with live streaming, they will just the stop yeah. streamers from streaming yeah. altogether yeah. from the Europe, right? But I just think objectively, in that sense, where I was from, Brexit didn't make sense. Article 13, it feels like if you're not, if you're involved in this online community that we have, mandatory upload filter only works on fucking YouTube. Um, and you have some power, you barely, over not it. even on YouTube, um, honestly. The ways that we've already discussed, and hopefully, the rest of the information we give you over the last half of this show can help. Of course, it's not mandatory if it's pointless. It. Yeah, yeah, an upload filter is pointless yeah. in any case, so, yes. so they wouldn't make it mandatory. Yes, because we, we have Julie here, we have Timmy here, they, they know everything pretty much about it. There's a whole block with information, there's a whole Twitter we with call actual discussions. The internet going on about the whole article and if you want to ask questions just do it now the production is writing it down we're gonna have them later to answer them here and it's, it's gonna be interesting to see how, how good the people actually understood so far what we have brought to them I think Julie's making is pretty good Timo too of I'm what, what what's 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 going on how the upload filters are gonna pretty much influence our day-by-day -day life I mean simply like you go you go in the morning you have your favorite Instagram you just check some pictures and nothing is there <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible well, Every, everything has to be a selfie with nothing in the background yes like a self-portrait black and white yeah. um, I'm thinking real dystopian here you know I'm getting into the fiction <laughs> side of things I mean yeah. I'm, I'm having a room at home a studio Fuck Instagram. Actually Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, there, <laughs> there, there, there is, is certainly some, some, some kind of demonstration here. So, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, there's somebody with an Article 13 stop sign. Oh, well, were the, were those nice. people not set up by us? Uh, no, no, that's not just, by me. Oh, yeah, so, we should get them uh, on here, guys. <laughs> guys. But, you know, like probably people who were uh, hearing so, about this on, on Twitter or something. Yes. I'm working here. I like uh, it. Look at that. <laughs> See, yeah. this is this is the little things you could do if you just ride with that th sign well, to your school, high school, studies, wh wherever. It's, it's the little things. Anonymous Donuts 3 and says, Forsen, you're moving to NA. Fantastic. I can't I mean, wait. How many people have been at the protest? I've um, just seen the pictures and it was like huge, huge, huge massive yeah. people. So I rather wait. So what happened was uh, when this uh, agreement was reached between the parliament and the council in like secret negotiations in the evening, uh, there, the people who made this petition were streaming outside of the uh, yeah. room so they were live on the internet and were basically interviewing the politicians as they were coming out and this was hugely successful and one uh, Twitch uh, creator actually saw this and was like I'm doing a protest this Saturday in Cologne you know I don't care if anybody's gonna come and 2,000 people and then, showed up yeah. with like no preparation whatsoever yeah. and then a week later they did it again and they about doubled the people who came so I hope it's gonna like grow uh, and it's been a completely kind of spontaneous thing and people were carrying signs saying you know I'm not a bot because one of the German politicians he basically <laughs> said on Twitter this must be a fake campaign by Google because all these yes. emails I'm getting against article 13 are from Gmail accounts yeah. uh, so because everyone has a fucking yeah. Gmail account in the I current mean, year I, I thought that was there, there are more demonstrations planned so there is another one it's the 3rd of March in are, are in there Berlin? somewhere gathered on Online where you can find a source with the the demonstrations. Yeah, so the organizers of this petition are kind of organizing the protest and I think they have a Discord channel or something where if you yeah, want to organize a protest yeah. in your city, you can join that Discord you, you and, need to and get ready. coordinate I'm, with I'm, I'm born All right. ready. Okay. So wh <laughs> one question we have from the chat is, More what does MEP car. actually mean? You mean, you yes, my favorite. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, it, it sounds like a simple question, but as we have quite a lot, lot of young viewers, so not only young mm. viewers, people of my age and Paul's age, it's yeah. kind of like, yeah, what, what does that actually mean? What is that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, basically, we are directly elected for our country, so like. Germans can vote for German MEPs. Good to know. So so Jedi Mosterplum, uh, Emir exactly. Kimet, Funky so Monkey, Lever Ducky, Bedless Sleeper, and so Sport 25. Thank you, dudes. Yeah. 212 Darks, they're done as fine. Says, did you forget the snooze because you almost lost? Right, so Maybe we will lose. I don't know. I asked this right in. 
than the in Nikuma. right now, so rather. I was elected in 2015, but I don't know, Kevin. and I think Timo joined uh, sort of halfway through. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. Um, Satan on his phone so says, why are we watching ViewBotCon? On the 26th of May. I don't know, I was uh, expecting a Twitch stream to talk about uh, earlier, like Twitch. In we vote on Sunday, but in some countries it's Specifically, like Thursday, and I hope whatever. they will. Yeah. Someone with a viewer okay. question, hopefully. And, um, so anybody who is European can vote, even if they live like in another European country. Okay. Uh, oh, no. If they're well, depending on the age, <laughs> like uh, in some countries it's from 16, in most of them it's from 18. Yeah. So Nerdstone yeah. says, so Why is fucking Pono yes. on my stream for some? Who's which color? So I'm, I'm, okay. I'm okay. yellow. I don't know, Kev, okay, the best right. the representative I'm Germany I'm has, easy. apparently. Easy to <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that you? Yeah. oh, shit, and then I ran happen? into a palm tree. I'm Donkey Kong, guys. Bird of Paradise on his time says, The German Pirate Party had a seizure now. The left uh, half is uh, handicapped, yeah. but seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry this affects you that I much. Right. I hope you, I, I hope for you this will <laughs> turn out well. I hope so too. So I mean, uh, I will always have options as a, well, as one that? of the bigger that European streamers. <laughs> it's easier for me <laughs> to save my ass <laughs> than, uh, let's say, okay, I'm, 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 I'm a 300 viewer streamer, streamer uh, right? Uh, they don't have the options to move where the fuck they want. It's an international word that's being used a lot. Right. How did you both get into politics? It's, it's, it's very hard for them to do that. Great. So I was actually once a member uh, of I, I, I just had 300, but it could be like well, a couple of thousand too they and whatever. It, law, so there's kind it's of just a the harder, <laughs> so the smaller your streamer you are, the, the harder it is for you to just quickly move to another country and shit. I have Cloud9 backing me up. So, um, yeah, uh, just, just if I need like a visa or something probably. And um, yeah, there was a possibility to discuss the problem or do something. And yeah, this is why I get involved into politics. Nice. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, so the most important thing I want to ask, and Twitch chat probably agrees, is um, as a Pirate Party member, do you... Yeah, I don't know how hard it would be for him to <laughs> get a visa in the States. Of course I do. Thank yeah, you. I mean... <laughs> but uh, it's possible. Uh, I think there there are yeah. kind of there's also Gosh. like this church of copimism which is basically copying as a as a holy act. I think that's kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's, this time let's the, cut who's this the out. green one again? <laughs> yes. I, uh, but you're but third what? overall, Timo. Yes, yes. It was the first time I lost. I'm, yeah. I'm I'm fourth. We have Donkey Kong leading Sopala. So and how much yeah. did you practice? Uh, I'm not even I've, very I've, good at this game. I've played once or twice, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. This is disrespectful saying that as the first. I don't mean it disrespectful, but literally there's so... I do presenting, right? One, one, one of the games I do, my, my, my favourite eSports, CSGO, I'm heavily involved in. There's a guy that is unnaturally good at Mario Kart. His name's Moses. He's one of the commentators. He is like... It's, I can't understand. He'll be at the back and somehow work his way to the front. He's always there. That's pretty interesting. Destroying everybody. Moses, if you're watching, I love you, but I hate you. <laughs> it's gaming magic. So yeah. one question from the chat, really important is, as you said, how can people contact you, like Twitter, and you said this Parliament okay. MEP side? How can they get in touch with you if they actually still have more questions after the stream, if they want to get involved in the whole thing right. even more? Basically on all platforms. <laughs> no, 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 but uh, for me, um, it's, yeah, team it's, up first. It's YouTube, Where? for example. Uh, I have my own YouTube channel. And How's it uh, called? Uh, it's Vulcan, W O E L K E N, quite simple. And uh, since yesterday, also a Twitch channel, but, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think the, 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 mo the best way would be uh, to use Twitter. Yeah, for me, Twitter as well. I'm Zenf Icon, so S E N F I C O N. I think the moderators could probably put some l links in the chat for that, right. so we instantly have that going on too. And every time I say that, somebody is like, oh, that's how it's pronounced. Yes, yeah. I was thinking mm -hmm. the same thing. And I'm yeah. going to tell you one secret like, all yeah. the MEPs. Mo uh, phone numbers like from the parliament they are on the internet so on pledge2019.eu so you can actually call us and you might not, not get us on the phone directly but maybe one of our assistants and it's pretty much not like that you're just sitting on your phone and constantly checking your twitter no you actually have a team that helps you to pretty much get all the information together so you have those questions you can answer them you have the time in between of your daily business mm -hmm. to actually help the people as good as possible mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and I mean, of course, you can also call the people who are not uh, uh, yeah. already against Article 13 and try to convince them. So, Got so, so, like, on extra, Seno 7, Unfen, Shishmag, Yusef, Jesus Pawn is Danny Boy and Auxelli, thank you, it's for Article 13. So welcome, welcome back. King Fjord on 349 says, I'm really tired of this streamer giving his opinion on such important issues. Please read a book to educate yourself. All you are is a computer video game. Gamer. Yeah. I'm not sure if you're talking about me or the stream, but uh, regardless of how much uh, any streamer knows, they can push more people to vote than any individual being fully read up on or whatever. Um, with the way that they're choosing to do things, and they're going to think, "Oh man, I might be losing a voter here, right?" Yeah. And so um, you you you, you want to like engage this rationally and logically. Yeah. You don't want to be doing anything silly like ringing people up and trolling them. And um, <laughs> right. we'll go yeah, about like this the right thing way. to do. If, but if the epic troll face. I mean, somebody <laughs> who knows that you're never going to vote for them is probably not going <laughs> to listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, but if you're basically like, well, I think your hey, party Dr. is pretty Force, good, but why exactly are, really are we watch this mm. cringe fiesta? But, but seventy-seven, seven hundred and 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 seventy-seven, seven hundred the hands of seven 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 hundred and seventy seven seven hundred and seventy seven seven hundred and seventy seven seven seventy seven seventy seven seven hundred and seventy seven seventy seven seven hundred and seventy seven seventy seven seven hundred and seventy seven seventy 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 seven hundred and shouldn't really affect your decision here too much like look if you're watching this stuff online or you're creating this stuff this is going to affect you regardless of what you think of brexit or not um and brexit so I think or that's not why it's very important for people to get involved regardless of what they um believe in the wider um sense of politics whether it's european or in their home country would you agree Totally. I mean, there are supporters and opponents of Article 13 in pretty much all the political yes. parties. Yeah. And so it's not a typical kind of partisan left or right ideological issue. But it's really, have you grown up with the Internet or are you in touch with how people use it? Then you're probably going to understand and vote against. Mm, perfect. Yeah, I agree. We also heard just that we're a couple of thousand away from actually reaching the 4.9 million, actually breaking the 4.9 million on the oh, change.org really? petition. Let's Guys, get into it. If, if you it. have friends, if, you, if you're yourself and you haven't done it yet, it actually helps our party members that represent us in the MEP, okay. in the European I'll do Parliament. It. it helps everyone change to hopefully get some voices out there dot org Article 13. Article we need to make more people aware, and that's 13. the most important thing right now, yes. awareness for, for different party members, for everyone out there, for, for even me, myself, and I, Paula, and the other creators that have slept so far, because I can tell you there are a lot of creators that so far just like, yeah, I don't care, no politics on my channel. Yeah. But if you don't have a channel anymore because of politics, you should, you should rather you know, get involved to a certain degree at this point and drop just like a little vote on the petition. Mm. Yeah. You should, should we get another that. race going, guys? Yeah. You mean the, the final one, the one that final. decides oh, it all? Oh, is this the no, final no. one? Okay, oh, we've well, got I'm, 20 I'm, minutes left. Maybe we should wait for uh, five, five, so five or so minutes. Maybe we can uh. see some questions from the yeah, audience. Let, from yeah, the yeah let's, let's take some more questions, yeah. especially directed towards um, these two, the, the ones that are most clued up about it, our actual MEPs here. Sure. I have the questions in my I voted. So there, oh, okay. There's more than I'm going to get them whispered to us. And I'll, I'll just redirect them to you directly while we... Time to bring in Super Soldiers. Wait, another round. Uh, 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 so you're going to be a robot. Uh, oh, uh, I, I, I have, I have the little voice in my ear. We have a race going oh, on. What the race? Hey, I mean, we, we just learned that I... Okay. just race more, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine <laughs> I mean, I Oh, the final race. Place anyway, so I can't, I just, <laughs> the epic finale. I just in our production meeting as well. We were supposed to pair up in teams. I can't wait to see who actually wins it all. I think they were worried, right? The pony is only three. It says some of those people literally vote because they are being told to vote no, not because they read up on it or anything. Many politicians have been confronted already, and it shows that they are, have no 
clue what Article 13 actually meant. Yeah, so we gotta collect a lot of uh, ignorant people too to vote yes, right? Um, or slightly interesting name this game, but it's like that, that one amazing sort of. Wait, um, vote no. Like no. Uh, Speech-based. Oh, why am I? That was me. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, I'm just getting shot here by everyone. Oh, man, I'm really awkward about. Either that. way, we need I'm ignorant sure people from our game. fighting uh, on our okay. side. Secret Hitler. Whatever. Hitler. Yes, no. Yeah. <laughs> Vote um, for or against. It's a really, really good board game. It's about basically um, fascist versus um, liberals yeah. and. It's, yeah, it's pretty popular in Germany. Have you heard about yeah. it? Like, like it's on, really, on really Twitch, good. actually on okay. YouTube, yeah. it's being used. Board game, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Nothing, nothing else. Just the game. Yeah. yeah, me and my friends have almost fallen out of that game multiple times. So is it kind of like Junta or something? Apparently, like this? I've heard it's like a game called Mafia. Okay, yeah, um, so very intriguing. Or yeah. oh, oh, okay. It's all yeah. social engineering and like right. discussing things and trying to seem like something you're not. My controller is right. like... What are you talking about? Town of I mean, Salem? I played a lot of Werewolf. That's a fun one. Yeah. Werewolf. Well, yeah, it's apparently it's like Werewolf. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I hate to disturb the tabletop talk. The most deadliest gun in Uganda. But there's a question that actually Paul and I also had in the beginning, and that was, how does, how does this all Secret affect Hitler. also non-EU viewers right. and creators? Because this, this is pretty much step one now. It could yeah. happen in like, Germany and in the EU and everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, But how does it affect America? Well, I mean, I think for a lot of really small platforms, it's actually kind of difficult to break into the market. So for them, the EU is an important market and it might just not pay off to run a small platform if that market is lo no longer available to you. So it could be that they just basically block users from the EU so they don't have to yeah. comply with the law. And I think that would also be sad. Well, I would like some numbers, cases, like statistics on how big the so European audience is on the Twitch. Entertainment industry from other countries gets their I wonder, I wonder, I know what it is from my stream, but I would like the, the, US the total the for all the streams they have. Where they are like, hey, Europe is discussing this Article 13. Hey, well, who Eighty percent. Eighty percent are not from event, EU on yeah, Twitch. So a good chance that if no passes, way. It will no way. Over the world. It's but less than fifty percent. Okay, for sure. Like, I'm safe call. I'm in America. My a, a American content creator, who also has European beers, right. uh, might might not want to care about this, but it's pretty much a platform. Ah, YouTube. stop it but now. If, if like it's... YouTube has to stop doing EU content too, if it would maybe have to stop Twitch on you. Uh, How is it less YouTube than fifty percent? The liabilities that the copyright because uh, then, it then is it's also like in the long run yeah, I think when it works in EU, why wouldn't it work in America I'm not talking about other con uh, there are other countries watching Twitch other, not just like Europe idea. and NA yeah I mean it's I not between it's those there's a lot of other countries not that realistic that these platforms will necessarily have completely different policies for different countries so if they mainly operate in the EU they might just basically put upload filters yeah. for the entire world and it's too expensive to have different <laughs> sets Okay, so if you already paid, like we, we talked about it, uh, getting it's 52 percent. Like, oh, hey, hundred bucks, and I look at your stats. Filter, yeah, like, yeah we're broke. look at my stats. Filter, and then you my, the use big, it. my biggest and audience is from NA, it, you use it. but if I sum yeah, up all the uh, European countries, of course, it's going to be way more, but also I have a lot of European viewers because I'm a European streamer as well in that time zone, but like this. Like copyright content can be anything. It can be a sculpture or a, a character from a novel, and or a text, or you know, like so with a text, like but let's say a poem. It's not enough that the filter recognizes like the written poem, but somebody reading out the poem in an audio Time file or somebody. There's no tool to combine all EU uh, viewers into one percentage on, on Twitch dashboard. Track Paul, yeah, sure. I lied, like, little W. Like, like <laughs> Calculator. <laughs> like no, but it doesn't even show all the countries that are under a certain yeah, percent. Well, they they can't show I mean, all the countries. The supporters of Article 13 say, well, what are you worried about if you're not breaking the law? You know, then you're fine. Just don't, don't break but copyright. I think it's even worse. But it's like. Uh, yeah, parody is perfectly legal in the UK. You are allowed to use that stuff. 
yeah. uh, you know, to make a point, to make fun of somebody. Parody and the is allowed. And the going to be able to tell the difference between a parody and a copyright. Yeah, and so if, if a supporter of Article 13 tells you you don't have to worry about... Where is parody not allowed? The article or parody is still allowed. Like in China? Um, yes, they did, but um, the filter is not <laughs> able to recognize it. Super so um, it's in the end useless. Yeah, it's not a question of what you're allowed to do. I mean, you're allowed to do quite a lot of things, but you will be blocked anyway, and then yeah. you can complain. I mean, they say, well, don't worry, there is a complaint mechanism. But imagine that for a live stream. So basically, you do a live stream with a, a review of a new video game. It's perfectly legal quotation. It gets blocked, and then you can complain, and your live stream will be unblocked 24 hours later. Yeah, so is that something that we should clarify to the viewers then, is that not only are the purposes that Article 13 um, being that it's being made for are kind of, from our opinion, wrong. And um, that the, the way it would need it to be enforced technologically, oh, 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 oh. technologically, we just don't have the ability Check this site. That, to it do shows those the viewer distribution by yeah. countries. Um, and so Smile. That's probably worth thinking about home as well. Yeah, I think some of the politicians, especially the older ones, they kind of they think don't te realize technology is magic. Or there's, one, you know? there's, a, there's a person doing it for every video, right? Or like, I don't know. I think they imagine that these are easy technological problems to solve because yeah. they're not that familiar with it. Yeah, and they compared it to uh, cars which drive driverless. So autonomous cars yeah. are compared to upload filters, which should recognize parity and... and it's uh, easy. Any small platform yeah. operator can build an autonomous yeah. car. So um. This is why we have these cars already, because it's so easy to have the filters in place. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but, right. but one most important thing we have to state too is that we're actually sitting in the EU Parliament doing a Twitch stream. Yeah. Live yeah. from here, that's, that's playing computer yeah, games. Slightly <laughs> bittersweet for me. <laughs> the future is here. With, with, I think it you, is. you used one of your last chances to do it. So yeah, I'm happy I'm here, man. Well, I kind of I mean, walked in, felt know. a bit awkward when I showed you my passport. I was like, oh. 20%? You're very welcome to yes. stay. Yes. Everybody yes. here yeah, is going to tell you that. Like, yeah. you don't have to leave. Yeah. <laughs> There's only I two European here, countries yeah, here. here. Uh, Perfect. So I had another question from the... The most being 6.26. I need that again. But, but, he's there. but I don't think the Europe, Europe the adds up over 50%. <laughs> I clicked the 240, but I couldn't. So it, it just this is a really relaxed live stream. We actually sign don't up or something. Really big minute to minute yeah. agenda. This like is I, just I don't want to sign up. We or should actually, you know, European Parliament. They're not stuck up. They're really nice people. I don't actually. think it will add up they over if six point like, whatever I'm is the highest yeah. and four point <laughs> nine is the sure second highest, there's, there's and you're gonna get to fifty percent with the European countries. Country, help me avoid I don't. I don't think it reaches fifty. It's the people like that are creating within the law of article 13 would be yeah. effect so it's what you consume um, yeah. if you try to consume European content and, and a lot that stuff would have to change absolutely and, yes. I mean a law shouldn't uh, be uh, decisive probably around 30 percent to 40 percent so maybe on the internet yeah, and I mean, it's not going to help because even if you move to another country, you still want to watch the creators you know exactly. from, from back home. So, so like they, they have to the all move too. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. So we have to move. Like if yeah. we move to America, if every content creator from Germany mm. moves out of the country. Yeah, but even then, yeah. basically copyright law <laughs> it applies to where it can be seen. Like oh, the entire world could block the Russia EU, is EU. On the internet, but that's not. No, true. Russia is not right. affected by Article there are a lot 13. Of great things in the EU. So, so you They're not the can't EU. escape Article 13. It's not about that. It's about helping the but Parliament representatives to not make this. Russia happen. is. Yeah, let's just vote it down. That's yes. the clear Europe. solution. Europe. Yeah. Should we just remind everybody again? So there's the petition online. Right. Um, you, I can know you there's can find it on Julia's Twitter. Yeah. Um, but it's not. 2019.eu so where you can website. call your MP EU. and yeah. they can promise to vote against. Um, there are yeah. the protests, so Pro there's yeah. uh, yeah. this, this uh, Save the, the Internet campaign, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you, I think, so on Twitter, the people from the, from the campaign, the um, Save the Internet petition, they're called at Upload Filter, and they, Russia can, is Asia. you know, they no. are publishing Stop. where Stop your bullshit. protests are happening, and yeah. we're, we're trying to not I had this discussion before, but you guys. Yeah. So if you do want to get, which we are trying, the whole point is to urge you to do that, um, there are many ways you can get involved in terms of, um, from going, 
uh, from something that takes very little time, just signing a petition to, yeah, if you'd like to go to a protest. There's so many different ways, depending on how you want to do it, but um, we would urge you to do one to make sure that this doesn't happen. It was that close, you said 70 votes between them last time, right. and the next vote's happening in March. Uh, try to convince oh, those oh, people oh. on the fence, those MPs. The EU average around 18 to 25 percent of viewers on. Decision to make. Time to bring in the super soldiers. Don't just and vote. Yeah. EU average around 18 to 25 percent of viewers on Twitch. Super soldiers. Yes. So use this. I I would say it's more. Confident with the outcome. For sure, but not over 50. In a party of funds. Yeah. I don't know where you didn't link me any statistics there. Start your own party if you don't fit a party which fits your needs. But get involved in the process yeah and if you want more younger people actually in the European Parliament I mean go to the votes uh, because the European election the voter turnout is usually pretty low especially among younger people yeah, so no, if you are eligible to vote go to the to the European elections and make yeah. sure you vote for somebody who is against article 13. if you're young so, and eligible to vote please go and vote yeah. Learn that historically, yeah. all right, guys? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Please exactly. do that. What the so, fuck? So did he just, the did he just find do what I think he did? Information just about Article 13, so they actually just really understand <laughs> the basics. Just like like a summary of that. Right. Are, are you, do you have a blog? Yeah, so my blog is uh, juliareda.eu. There you can find uh, a summary page and also kind of the an analysis of the latest text. You can also find the actual text of Article 13 there if you really want to get into the details. Um, I think there are there's a lot of good Blood. information Time also on uh, pledge2019.eu. Kind of if you want to call an MEP, it tells you a little bit like how how you can prepare yourself for the call and that sort of thing. Yeah, perfect. So, you can find the information in the internet, yeah. you have no excuse anymore. They pretty much told you they have Twitters, they have Time phone numbers, they have phone numbers so of representatives, mm. there are address. websites with easy... I, I know, saw yeah. Julia's blog this morning, and it's pretty much, so this is what it is, this is the consequence, this would be an alternative. It's, it's actually written in a step-by-step -step program for everyone to understand. Re regarding your age, it doesn't matter. You, you should you should take 10 minutes at least and read it. I mean, that's a toilet visit. Yeah, I mean, even... Like, like, even so we so almost guys. had five minutes million people do that um, you know those websites like petition the petition sites they take not even 10 minutes it's like two minutes you type that stuff up I mean, it would make a big difference. And Time to bring again, just to reiterate my own so yes. story, this, this crept up on me. I got asked to do this like a few days ago, like a week ago or something. And I was like, what? This is still a thing? Like, yeah, okay, of course, man, I'd like to help out. It's and so if there's any other information you need, check out all the resources we've tried to put across. And I feel a lot more informed, thanks to you guys and, and Pony Wolf. Um, and being here, it's, it's nice to come down to Parliament, talk about something that it just seems bizarre that we're even discussing it to an ex extent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and now we'll have to find those protesters that walk by and shake their hands. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But we're before that this. happens, okay. we have to do one more race. One the, the, one, race. Okay. the one race okay. that really? decides it all. Decides all right. what? Everything. I won four races in a row. I think that's decided. No, no, it's just like, this is, I'm taking a baby character. Mass says, Mass says, Chris, don't stream. says, Twitch don't have anything prepared. Their preparation is to inform people with the stream. You counters have two years to make their own laws about the Article 13, then Twitch has time. And the only technical possibility to check copyright is upload filter. So you can, and he, he'll be super How can you have an upload filter well. okay, of live good. stuff? <laughs> yeah, leave, leave, leave it out then. Yeah. Leave it out. Do you ha do you have to have a five-minute delay or something? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not yeah, I'm not well, sure exactly worse, how you would do that, but I was talking about it earlier, and I said as well that every EU country has two yeah, years to adjust to the the article, but you guys. Love from the Great Britain. <laughs> Let's say that. <laughs> yeah. Let's say that Germany decides to do it instantly, right after it passes, like in a couple of months. And Sweden decides to do it after two years because you know they voted against it, so they're gonna stall like fucking Stalingrad over there. Uh, how will my, my? What I really wanted to know is how Twitch will. Uh, go about blocking shit. Like, will they know that if I stream, for example, let's say I, I was in Spain, let's say I would stream from Germany, would my shit get blocked? Will they block everyone? Like, even if I'm in Sweden, like, how will they know all those things? Uh, pretty much.
Yeah. I like that. They will just they will block like as soon as the first country either. adjusts it's adjusts. How most, like, uh, everyone will have to adjust after it on Twitch. Like, oh, this is really interesting. I, really I don't know. I don't know these things. Like, oh my god, this is really complicated. I don't have the time or or interest to actually read it. What about VPN? Yeah, but I think this is like a part of uh, that I would like to know too. Older people don't I mean, necessarily know about that nowadays you're not just consuming but you're building your own stuff and yeah this is kind of what if I'm in the yeah. states without being a resident so what if I'm just you know chilling on vacation oh, right. can so I stream as a European learn. streamer like, this is how you become a program how will they know artist, you know and I think it would be terrible if is, you can't do that is that another thing because of course a massive community online what about the, the viewers? Will they get blocked? If they're from Europe. Yeah, I mean, if it is on a commercial. I I, I know that Twitch it, probably doesn't uh, have it, it all. I mean, um, the question is always, of figured course, out themselves. Like, I mean, th this is about they probably have a plan like if this passes of what they will do. And I don't think they want to share it yeah, until I mean, the they know for sure what they want to do. Like Steam and whatever, because profit. it can cause an, so an, an uproar. That. Let's say that wow. they have they really say like, oh, we're going to block every that. single one of you motherfuckers. And then sure. people are fucking scared. Place, and then, I don't know, the vote doesn't come through. Oh, and, yeah, you know, there, there is no Article 13. And it was all, they got a lot of shit for nothing. So I think they're going to wait, but I think they do have a plan. And I would just like, I would like to have some kind of idea of what they would do. Because let's say that a lot of streamers uh, would have to move, you know, to continue streaming. That's something you can't need a heads up on, right? That's, that's, that's something that streamers would like a heads up on. <laughs> I just want to throw that out there. I Ask staff. No one will tell me anything. They're not going to tell me shit. They can't risk me telling everyone else. They don't have the authorization. I already asked. I already asked chat, and they're like, "Can't say right now. Can't say right now." I was hoping that that was like two months ago, though. How does upload filters affect live content? Well, it doesn't make a difference, basically. I mean, it's much harder to prevent copyright infringement from happening if it's live. I mean, let's say you're streaming from a protest, like some of the Twitch uh, creators were doing that from the Cologne protest. And let's say somebody walks by with a boombox that's playing copyrighted music. I mean, obviously, a there's no box. way of knowing that's going to happen beforehand. So anyone who allows live streaming has <laughs> a huge risk as, as a company. So I Boomer expect box. that most of these kind of uh, video platforms would just not allow live streams anymore because the risk is too high and they don't know what they're going to get. And also yeah. I think any hope of basically... Uh, complaining if something got unfairly deleted is useless in the case of a live stream because by the time it's resolved, it's too late. That, that means technically, uh, uh, me as a broadcaster, I would have to write an application to Twitch again and ask like, hey, I'm a nice guy. I sit in an empty room. I never, <laughs> I've never played copyrighted music. Um, would you, would you allow me to live stream? I, I pretty much have to prove that yeah. I, I'm, I'm safe for and work. And then they have to, they have to hope that you're. They not don't care. Start it's not going to be worth the risk. <laughs> yes. They can't take that application I'm from every sure single one and, and assume they will follow that yeah, every yeah. day so for the rest of, of their razor, streaming career. Of it you says say like story. They're just going to yeah. say yeah. no does, and leave. Caching, like, I mean, also for a live stream, you have to store it for at least a short time. Yes. So does that count as storing? We yeah, don't know. There's uncertainty like, no? yeah. on this. Yeah. And it doesn't really help us to know we're doing gray zone stuff because... Yeah. No, it <laughs> does not. But I just wanted to, <laughs> yeah. to yeah. point out that the main focus is the storing you give access to. So, and of course, there is this uncertainty. What does storing really mean? Yeah. So um, we just want to inform objectively. Yeah. So, this is yeah. so right. to wrap the whole thing up, do something. The links are in chat. Everything is there. I want to thank Timo and Julia really for having time in yeah, the park. Parliament for today from their <laughs> schedule to actually hang out here with Paul and me play some Mario Kart. I'd just like to give a big shout out to our I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed we didn't get an e, uh, Twitch representative like uh, staff-wise on the panel. Yeah.
thanks also to the viewers I was hoping for that. Listening yes, to us. Do something. Instead, I got little Mario Kart. If you have questions nice. to Timo and Julia, they have their blogs, they have their Twitter. Yeah, uh, the links are in the chat, the links are everywhere, so get it. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. What was it, three weeks or something? Or a month? <laughs>